Let me know if everybody can hear me. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna go through just the, the trades from the last couple of weeks and then give everyone here the information about the class and then I'm gonna just pull up the live market tonight, just pull up some charts um, and just go through some charts with you because today was a, was a bearish day in the market. So I thought I'd take advantage of this opportunity today to kind of review a little bit about what I'm looking at in the chart and what I do. But I did want to, look at this beautiful picture in New York, isn't that a great picture? Uh, I did want to go over with you here the stats from the last few weeks. If you'd like more information, you can always reach out to me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Feel free to call me at 929 gap and you can call me or email me or follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or Skype if you'd like more information. So it's been a good 2018, and I'm not gonna go through trade by trade in here, but I, ju I just want to talk in general here about the fact that it is possible to make money in the market day trading. And I think a lot of people um, that attempt to trade or try to trade or are interested in trading obviously start out, go down one direction, maybe don't find success, and then veer off in many different directions, and then they kind of question whether or not it's possible to even be profitable. But the fact is it is. And one of the reasons for my own consistency is because of the fact that I only do the strategy that I created and I don't do anything else. And I also prefer to short, although some of these trades in here were longs, but most of them were shorts. And again, we, I'm gonna bring up the chart today to discuss the market and Facebook specifically too, which was a short today. But either way, if you're thinking about trading and you've never traded in your life, or if you've been trading and you're not successful, the first thing you gotta do is believe that you can be successful. Because if you don't think that you can, you're, you're almost working against yourself. You are working against yourself, okay? You're 100% working against yourself with your own belief system, which isn't even right. So if you believe that you're gonna lose and you can't make money in the market, then there's no point in even trying. First, you have to fix your own belief system. And the reason I'm showing all these stats here is to show you, with each ticker symbol, that you don't even need to be trading all day. You don't need to do a million different symbols in order to make this kind of money. Most of the time, I focus on one ticker symbol a day. Today, focus was Facebook. Although you could have focused on Facebook today and the market, okay? But typically, one pick a day is usually what I do and focus on. One pick, and Friday was TIFF, but we can even look at that today as well, okay? So whether you want to risk a small amount of money day trading or an intermediate or advanced, and all of these were advanced trader risks, it's, it's not even the point. The point is that whether you make $100 a day or $1,000 a day, you can make money, but you have to be focused. And without a shot of a doubt, you have to have a good system. And you also need to believe that you can. And I believe with the correct system and the right mentoring that really anyone can be successful in the market. But a lot of people out there don't believe that they can, and that is working against themselves. So I, you, know, you can be honest with yourself and just ask yourself, do you think that you can be successful or not? Because if you don't think that you can, then that's the first thing you gotta fix. And that's not something that I would fix for you. It's something you can fix by yourself. And you can watch some of my inspirational, motivational videos that are on YouTube for that or talk to me about it, read books on it. I mean, it doesn't even have to take you a long time to change your attitude about the market. You could change your attitude by tonight, by tomorrow morning, okay? And I found that when people come to me and they take a chance and decide to do my class and learn my method, if they've had a bad attitude, that they can change it very quickly once they start seeing the profitable trades that I'm calling, their attitude changes very quickly, and they turn around and see green, 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 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or even in the first month, and then people start to change their attitude. So anyways, before we get into the charts for, from today, uh, I teach a class, it's called the Golden Gap Course. It's this weekend, the 24th and 25th, nine to five Eastern time. Cost of the class is $54.99 US dollars. It's $5,499, class is online. Be anywhere in the world and take it. Okay, you have to email me if you wanna sign up. I also teach another class called the Trends Course. Uh, if you pay for that with the Gap Course, you save $500. It'll be $59.99. That class is online. It's going to be in April. Okay, So it's going to be a good time to trade for two reasons in the second quarter. One, volatility in the market, which you saw today. And that means opportunity. Okay, And two, in general, it has been a very good trading year this year for 2018 because I've been very focused. Any questions at all specifically about 
general questions about trading or the class before I pull up charts from today, from anyone that's here tonight, before I go off the PowerPoint. And Kathy has my information there in there too, because I thought I would just lecture today really about charts because of the market move that we had today. Does anyone want to ask me any questions though, specifically about the class or day trading anything? Steve, I see you in here. I know you were asking me questions earlier. Anything else that came up in your head? Let me know. I mean, if you're here, you can still keep asking me stuff as we're going along. Um, all right, I'm going to pull up today's. Let's look at the market. Okay, so for those of you that don't know what I do, and for those of you that are new, some of you know what I do, some of you have heard of me, some of you haven't, um, I focus on only gaps, okay? So what is a gap? A gap is the difference between the close and the open. You have a close every day at four o'clock, you have an open every day in the US market the next day at 9.30. So every day, every single solitary day, you have a close and an open the next day. And once it's in, it's done. So once the close is there, boom, it's done. Anything that happens after hours in something called the post-market or the pre-market is trading. It's real trading that goes off, okay? And people take positions. That's not what I do. But that is when the gap is formed, okay? So the gap is formed in the post-market or the pre-market. So if you decide you want to come and learn what to do for me, you will learn what to look for that's gapping, and then you will find gaps and then you will determine what gaps or which ticker symbols, like this is the SPY, you can see it up here in the top. You will determine which ones you wanna focus on in the day, whether it's one or two, again, I like to focus on one, and you will see it and you will focus on it and you will rate it using a system that I will teach you in my class to determine if it's something you wanna buy or sell on the live day. Never taking positions in the morning before 9.30, this is only after 9.30, but you will choose which one you like to do before 9.30. In other words, I got up this morning very, very early. What did I like today? To short, Facebook. Guess what? It worked. Pull this up really quickly. Facebook gap down. This was a news-related gap. Had a monster move today. Facebook closed the night before up here, 185.09. Boom. Opened in the morning, 177.01. Facebook closed on Friday night at one number. Opened the next day in the morning at a different number, which was today on Monday. Okay? So this gap down. So I would teach you in my class to find many, many stops. Facebook's just one of them here, but again, you only need one. And find the gap, rain it, and determine if it was long or short. In the case of Facebook here, it was a short. And you could have made a couple of trades in this today, and multiple trades in this today. If you look at the top from the tail, this is how you make money as a trader, by the way. The top of the high of the day was 177, the low was 170. Stock moved more than $7 today. That's not nothing. That's quite a big move. That's a large move, okay, for Facebook. So you had selling action in Facebook today. So how do you make money as a day trader? You can short selling action or you can buy buying action. That's how you make money. If you do the opposite of the move of the direction of the stock that it's going, guess what? You're going to lose. And most people don't know what to do and most people do not understand what is a good long and what is a good short. And I don't mean to simplify it, but quite frankly, it is just that simple because people lose money because they're long stuff that's falling or they're short stuff that's rising, okay? Any questions so far? <coughs> that is a very quick analysis of what I do and what you'd learn from me, all right? Without getting really too, too in depth. Now, what I will show you here, we're gonna go over here, again, back to the market. I'm going to show you that the market here closed at what? 270.49. Boom. Just a couple minutes ago, whatever, 4 o'clock. It's 4, 4.39. I'm going to click on this jiggy here. See, it says show pre-post market data. Boom. Click on it. Okay. I can move it on or off. So I put it on. And guess what? The number's different. Magic, isn't it? 271.07. So here's where we close down here at 5. I mean, uh, on the 5-minute chart at 4. And then here you see, we're gapping up about 50 cents. Not that big of a deal, but a little bit up. So we're up a little bit in the after hours tonight. So if you, if it was tomorrow morning, you'd say, oh, we're gapping up. You could rate the market as a gap up. I'm not gonna do that right now because tomorrow morning is very far away. And I don't know if we even do that, okay? But I wanted to show you 
live after hours trading here, which is this market. Now, does anyone have any questions so far? Now, what is another thing that people find challenging about trading? They don't know when you're supposed to do what? Well, most of the days in, in, of any day, this is a daily chart, it's a very important chart of anything you look at. Most days, there's really nothing to do. So the market's been along for a long, long time, going back here all the way last year, the pre previous year, 2016, 2017, 2018, we're now, the market's been along, we've been bullish, 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 we're holding the uptrend. But if you, if you went long every day, you, you know, you, some days you would have lost. So you can't really trend trade a stock. You can't, you can't say, well, I'm going to go long because the stock's in an uptrend. I'm going to short because the stock's in a downtrend. You're not going to make money even doing that. And I will tell you that most place, people do not know how to read trends right either, okay? But anyways, you, you wouldn't even make money doing that. You need to find something very, very specific, like you're honing it in like a laser, and you're saying, I'm lasering in on that stock today, or that chart. And I'm just gonna bring back here, talk about the SPY, because the SPY fell today, you could have shorted the market today. I'm gonna laser in on this, and I'm gonna laser in on it, and I'm gonna rate it to determine if I wanna do this here today, and why would you rate the gap market today? Because it gapped. And you could really rate every gap that you see every morning. Now, I don't do that, because I've been doing this for a long time, so I can, I usually make a small group five, six, seven, maybe even 10 that I look at each day and then I pick through and I rate them. But you could essentially get up early, even tonight, and you could rate every gap you saw if you want to, okay? Any questions so far? Everyone's being very quiet tonight. Anyways, what's the premise again behind why I'm doing this and how it works to, to achieve those kinds of monetary goals? Because really it just has to do with the accuracy of seeing where it, the money's going to move. Where's the money? What's the money going to do? What's the money going to do in the market tomorrow? And when you say, well, where's the what's the market going to do tomorrow? Money comes in and out of the market all the time. And that's how you can make money yourself as a person. Okay, even with a small day trading account. Money goes into the market, money goes out of the market. You play the move of whatever is happening. But the genius of my system is that I can predict the move before the move happens to take a position in it on the live day to be part of the move as it moves to get a dollar move, two dollars, or like we talked about even in Facebook, it was a seven dollar move today which I highly doubt anyone would have gotten, but it was a huge move if you got a big part of it. So when you look here, you say, well, Melissa, what's happening with this, this chart here? Again, the SPY is gapping up tonight. We say, Melissa, what do you think we do tomorrow? Well, I don't know until we gap. We're, tonight, we're gapping up. Would you buy this gap up in the market tonight? The answer is no. No, I wouldn't, okay? But tomorrow morning, this gap might look different. We might be up more. We might be here. We might be down. I don't predict the gap itself. I wait until something gaps. And then I see the gap, like we're talking about. Like over here, like you're seeing right now. Now see the numbers different. Not much different, but you know, we're up 65 cents now, 67, 271.17. See this? Actually, you can see this up here. You can see this, you see this number moving, the difference between the bid and the ask. And then here's the candlesticks. But this is all happening. It's the market's close. It's quarter five. All right. So this is happening here. But I'm not trading this. And I'm not predicting this. And I'm not predicting this for tomorrow. You just wait. And you wait and see where it's going to go. In the gap in the morning when you get up. Whatever time. 6 a.m., 7, 8 a.m. in the morning. You could look at it late. You could look at it at 9 o'clock before the open. I think that's kind of late. But you gotta give yourself at least a half an hour, preferably an hour to prepare in the morning before you trade to go through the analysis of my system. And then particularly if you're in the trading room with me, I'll give you the analysis, okay? But you have to do the class, my class, in order to join the live room. Does anyone have any questions for me about anything so far I'm talking about here? 
anyone at all. I'm going to bring up Facebook. Bogey has a question. Go ahead. I'm giving you my time here tonight, people. I don't really have a whole presentation prepared because I think sometimes it's just good to look at charts. And today was a bearish day in the market. Everything really ran red. And I do prefer to short. So it's a, it's a good day to talk about what I like to do, which is shorting. Bogey has a question. Go ahead. I'm going to pull up Facebook while Bogey's typing. Meanwhile, Galahad, are there any gaps tonight you want me to look at live? I see you here. Bogey's typing a question. Galahad can look up if there's any live gaps. Barry, I see you in here too. Um, once I see his question, I'll answer it. Meanwhile, I'm going to pull up Facebook. So, you look at the daily chart to determine what you want to do in the rating. This is what you learned from me. Okay, it's a two-day two class on this weekend. Now, how do you make any money, even if you see it? Well, you have to take the position. You have to get in the stock. So, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to show you the one-minute chart, which is how we get the positions as the day trades on the one-minute after the open. Okay. Um, Bogey has a question. Do you look at the pre-market charts or do you just use end of day charts? No, I look at also pre-market charts when I'm rating the gap. You don't need to look at pre-market charts on the live day, but when you're rating the gap in the morning, that's, that's where you're going to need that to find the gap itself, Bogey. You need to look at the pre-market charts to find the gap. Otherwise, you won't see it. But on the live day, no. On the day itself, you can take it off, but you have to have that up to, to see the gap or you won't even see the gap. Okay, that's how I'm finding it. Well, actually I'm finding it on a scanner, but that's how I see what price it's at. I mean, you can look here, sometimes, you know, you can look here at this. In fact, I never looked at this. If I take this off here, does it show it? No, it doesn't. So you do have to put that on. Yeah, see, that's the close. You need to put it on to see it. Otherwise, you wouldn't know this is really gapping up. This is gapping up a little. Again, 50 cents. So we closed down right here, 172.54. See how all these charts have that number? And this up over here, I have the pre-market and the post-market on. It's at 173.09. So if I take this off, it'll go back to where we closed. So you need to have it on to, to see the gap itself at all. Which there you have it, boom. Or you just look at this. I mean, you just you can look. I like to look at charts. Or you just you could just look at the here. Wow, well, look at the volume of Facebook today. I didn't see that. Hell no. Um, okay. All right. Let's go over here to the one minute. So the one minute chart. Okay. There was many many shorts in this today, but I'm going to show you one that I did in here. You enter it short before the drop. Stock opens, drops, rallies, drops, rallies, drops, and dropped all day. So what are you looking to do with Facebook? First you rate the gap in the morning, determine if it's a long or a short, which I determined it was a short. Then you look to take a position entry in it short, and you get the drop. And you could have, you could have done this a million times today, like I said, but really you're looking for about a dollar. So you see this right in here? What, again, these are a little bit higher price stocks, but you're trading based on the stock price using leverage and margin with a broker. If you don't understand what that means, you can ask me later, email me, or ask a broker. I'm not a broker, but you can find out more, Google and read about margin. Anyways, this dropped in here, boom. Dropped in here, more than a buck. See down in here, this little, little guy in here, around 175-ish. Show you had a nice move here. So you could have taken a short trade in Facebook here, boom, got out in what? 15 minutes, 10 minutes. You don't even have to hold the whole thing down. You wouldn't have gotten that whole move in the day. You would have only gotten a small teeny weeny piece 
of the $7 Facebook moves today. And guess what? You would have made, you could have very easily in 10, 15 minutes made a dollar of any position size you wanted to take. You could have made $100 if you took 100 shares. You could have made $200 if you took 2,000 shares. I mean, $200 if you took 200 shares. You could have made $1,000 if you took 1,000 shares. You take a dollar move times the number of share quantity. So it's whatever you want to risk. If you took 3,000 shares, guess what? Something drops a dollar, you would have made what? $3,000. These happen all the time, all the time, day after day after day after day after day in gaps that I do and look at and mostly, like I said, we're watching the shorts, but we will go long, okay? Babel was a long last week. Anyways, to make a long story short, this is all that you need and all of those stats that I was showing you is boom, 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 boom. There are day trades. You're in, you're out, you're in, you're out, you're in, you're out. And although you could have done Facebook many, 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 many times today, okay, you could have shorted this a bunch of different times, many different trades. This really here is all that you need. Just a quick one. You could have even done this here as a quick one too, in order to make money consistently as a trader. And again, if this is something you want to do for a career, you're going to be looking every day for something like this to do it. Any questions at all about anything I'm talking about here, anything I'm saying? Any other questions, Bogey? Don't hold back. Ask me questions. I'm here to discuss things with those of you here. If you need help, if you have questions, if you don't get it, you won't learn my method until you do the class. I, you know, it's, it's just one of these things where it's a, it's a, this is a skill. Training is a skill. You learn it in the class. You learn the meat and potatoes. You learn the system. Then you have to do it. Then you do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And then as you're doing it every day, you gain the skill. You gain the skill to read charts, like I have a high skill to read charts, to predict where somebody's gonna go. You use the system and it continues to build on your skill level, like riding a bike, like playing a musical instrument. If you play the piano every day, you're gonna get better. If you golf every day, golf a lot, you're gonna get better. Trade every day, you're gonna get better. You practice the skill of finding the gaps, reading the gaps, reading charts, taking the trade, shorting, okay? Does everyone understand conceptually? So I'm just, you know, I'm just laying it all out, out here very simply for everybody because I think sometimes people overcomplicate it. The system itself may be complex to learn it in the class because it's, you know, 16 hours. But once you have it down, applying it is very easy. Then you understand it. It's just that many people don't understand how to trade. There are so many people that don't understand how to trade. And I've been speaking on national TV and I must tell you that there's many people that talk on TV that don't understand how to trade but they are looking at fundamentals and things like that. But they're, but they're talking about news and fundamentals and they really don't know how to read price action. And I'm telling you that reading price action is really where it's at. And if you like fundamentals and you wanna talk about that stuff and that enhances your trading, then fine. But if you're focused strictly on fundamentals and you completely, totally don't get price action at all you are going to miss the boat and it will be very challenging for you to make money very challenging for you to make money you cannot ignore price action and today was a great example of this and you can talk all you want about you know news and this and that and fundamentals the reality is that price action and reading charts is where it's at you don't have to have some you know college degree to do it you don't need anything more than my class because I really teach you how to read price action and I'm looking for institutional buying and selling and I'm predicting where it's gonna take a stock on the live day-to-day -day trade. And sometimes we look at them in overnights for the options, but every day in the room we're focused on day trades.
but you will you will learn a skill that that many many people do not have if you come and take my class and i'm realizing more and more how many people just don't know how to read price and it is important people are invested heavily in the market and they don't know how to read price that's that's scary what price stocks do you like to trade and what volume do you need to trade a stock I'm not trading any penny stocks or any of the cheapies. Otherwise, I don't really necessarily have a, a maximum. I don't think I'm going to be doing something any day soon that's worth two bucks. I'll do JCPenney, four dollars. So I don't really have a cutoff, but I'm not doing stuff that is no volume or dirt cheap. No penny stocks. Okay, Bogey? As far as liking to trade, I like anything to trade that moves. <laughs> it's going to have a big move. I like it. So that answers that. Galahad, we are a little thin on gaps after the close. Not much tomorrow either. Well, it's not tomorrow yet, so I, I don't I don't know. Probably burnt themselves out will bounce tomorrow. What do you think is gonna bounce tomorrow, Galahad? The market? Stocks? I don't know about that, Galahad. I've gotta disagree with you. But we'll have to see as far as new gaps. But do I think we get a bounce in here? I don't see it. Okay. Does anyone want to go over anything? Let me just see if there is anything here tonight that I can show you at all. Let me just pull up and see if there's anything gapping at all here. And anybody can answer, ask me any other questions. I just want to see if there is really any anything at all tonight even if it's not a good one just to show you another gap besides well i showed you facebook's gapping up the market's gapping up a little bit let's look um csiq let's see no that was this morning hold on oracle Oracles tonight. Hold on. Forgot. Oracle had earnings. Let's see if it's doing anything of consequence. Ooh, Galahad, you must have missed this. Oracle's gapping down. Oracle's gapping down. Okay, guess what? Here you have one. So I'm not going to rate this tonight, but you could. You could. Oracle close up here, 51.97, boom. It's gapping down here where? 50.09. Oracle is gapping down. You get up in the morning. Tomorrow morning, if you do my class, you would rate the gap. You would say, Melissa, is this a long or a short? And again, I'm not going to rate this here, but here's a live gap. And you could rate this gap. Netflix, is Netflix gapping? Let's look. It's not gapping. Why do you why do you want me to look at it? Why did you say Netflix then? No, this is not. Well, it's up just a little bit with the market here. There's nothing really here with this. Galahad, you're in the classic thing here of what you just, you just said bounce, then you said Netflix. Netflix is not gapping. If you're looking at this chart to bounce, you're thinking you're going to buy it. Again, you're doing so many things that I did not teach you. And I got to be honest with you here. We had more of a bearish day in the market than I've seen all year. So there's my take on that. I don't know where we go tomorrow morning, but I would not be buying any bounces, Galahad. That's not what I taught you. And, you know, I don't know why you're saying these things. And if you take some long trade that I didn't call, uh, you know, that would be highly risky. All right. I really would be very cautious now. Uh, this is the most bearish day I've seen in the market all year. 
and and I'll briefly explain to all of you why and um, but ask me if you have any other questions no I'm just saying Gala because you're talking about bounces and that's what a lot of traders think but it's not what I do and, and, and you really have to stick to, to what I'm teaching you here if you really want to get in the game here Galahad you, you just you just have to the market gap down today and per my system if you rated the market you could have shorted the market today it rated 20 points to short you could have shorted the market today as a gap on a stone and if you did you would have made money so that's that uh, this was a very bearish day in the market today uh, we sold off all day it was selling action pure and simple unadulterated selling action that happened in the market from the open all day almost into the close where you just had shorts covering and that's the only bounce quote unquote that you had Galahad I don't know why you're talking about bouncing the small gap up in the post market tonight does absolutely nothing for me it doesn't make me think we're gonna bounce or do anything at all and if we open here tomorrow I can tell you we will probably drop so this was the most bearish day we've had in 2018 and I say that and I'm fully aware of the fact it's the first time I have said that and I'm telling you right now that we have to gap up a lot and have a massive massive gap up tomorrow or we will not trade up around this anytime soon so it whether this fell for whatever reason you want to say this out the other thing blah 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 I don't follow fundamentals I look at what's happening the price action and I'm telling you today was the most bearish day in the market and it was more bearish than the day that everyone went crazy and panicked here and even the week I was on TV every day here this was more bearish today than I've seen all year and trust me when I say it because I know what I'm doing so we could trade around that immediately tomorrow morning but I I would be shocked if we do because this was real and we sold off all day Galahad, I just can't talk anymore about you writing these things that are just, just drive me crazy. Buying bounces, pullbacks, all that crap. It simply does not work. I just can't, I can't respond to your comments about those things anymore because it frustrates me because you're doing things that don't work. <clears throat> Anyways, I don't know where we gap in the morning, but if we gap up a lot, I'll be shocked, but we could. Does anyone want to go over anything about anything that I do? Do you have any questions? Any specific questions about gaps? Um, you know, I, I think that if you want to learn how to do this and if you're serious about making money, I definitely can teach you. My class is a wealth of information. It will completely change your outlook on reading charts. I mean, I don't think one person that's taken my class is ever ever not change their outlook on reading charts after my class and it is because I focus strictly on gaps but they tell you a lot of information they tell you more information than any indicator that's on a chart like a moving average or volume or you know Fibonacci's or moving averages or any of the crap the gaps tell you a lot we gap down today in the market it was it was serious so bottom line is that if you want to trade momentum okay when you find a gap and you can get in it in the right direction in a quality gap which is what I called golden gas that's the name of my class if you can get in it in the right direction when you have that momentum pushing it whether it's the selling action pushing it or whether it's the buying action pushing it pushing it up when something gets bought which I don't think really anything got bought today but um, either way it's very easy to make money as a trader all you do is just trade with it shoot you know just like just like the Facebook you just shorted Facebook today just went poof and it dropped that's all you have to do you short it at the right spot and it goes whew, and it goes down and you didn't even have to hold it all day you could have held it for five minutes ten minutes fifteen minutes you could have held it all day you probably wouldn't have all right so I think this is a kind of a good introduction for those of you that are new about what I do I hope it was helpful. Does anybody have any questions? Anything you want to ask me while I'm here? Galahad, I think you're doing different things and I sometimes you say things that just, you know, it's not what I do and I'm not sure how to respond anymore. Buying bounces and pullbacks and all that stuff, we just, it's not what I do. And I wouldn't be buying any bounces tomorrow. But, you know, you like many other people will probably be thinking that and I would not.
And we will not be doing that. <clears throat> Any questions from anyone? Everybody as quiet as mouses. Steve, do you have any other questions? Bogey, my God, you've been following me for so long. I don't know if you'll ever do the class, Bogey. Some of you sitting on the sidelines. I don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> A shooting star to come down and strike you. <laughs> Before trading. <laughs> Listen, we'll see what tomorrow brings. If you'd like a trial to the trading room, you can email me for a trial for this week. Oracle's definitely a watch for tomorrow. I have no idea where it opens in the morning. No clue at all. And I'm not going to read it until then because that's very far away. The stock does have volume, does move a lot. This could open here, it could open at 47, it could open at 51, who knows. It is 5 o'clock tomorrow morning at 9.30, is a long time away for this. Um, but it had earnings tonight. And there is actually a couple things out this week that are big namers. So Oracle's one of them. And this is one of the ones that talk about favorite things to trade. I don't, again, I don't know what this rates, but if it rates well, I'll, I'll, I'll trade it because it looks good as far as the price point. You can get a move in Oracle. If you trade Oracle in the right direction, you can see here from the low in this 49.85, the high up here 51.49, you can see a dollar fifty, two dollar move. Now again, don't run out and short this tomorrow. I didn't rate this gap yet, and I'm not saying you can short it or go long it. It's too early to tell, but I'm just saying in general, Oracle once it does rate well whether it's long or short, any time it gaps, can have big moves. And that is how you make money. And when I'm in the room in the morning, I call the entries. I say, boom, boom. I say, you know, 10 by 50 or whatever the entry is, and then the stop. So I will give that information. When I call it, I'll say 10 by 50 or whatever the price is. The first entry, the first number is the entry, the second number is the stop. And I'll say where to get out. But I usually give the targets as well in the room too. And again, I can't, I can't give you any of that here with Oracle because it's so far away. Like I said, tomorrow morning at 9.30, this could be at 47. Or it could be at 53. You don't know. But here you see the gap happening. In fact, was this at 53? It was almost. 52.86. So the first bar that came out here, it went up. Touched on 52.86. Came down. Low is 49.78. Boom. And now here it's trading around 50. And also, I think, you know, the market will have something to do with this tomorrow. Here we'll, see, we'll have to see what this is with the market. But any questions from anyone about anything? Interesting talk tonight, interesting discussion. Um, very, very interesting move in Facebook today as well. Um, you, you never know. It is not earnings season right now, but there are many stocks that will gap for reasons other than earnings. And uh, particularly... You know, in earnings season, though, when it is very, very busy, you get a lot of gaps. And that's the most fun time, really, to trade. And that's coming up in about two weeks, right after the Easter holiday or so. So it's it's going to be a busy time. But I think there's just going to be a lot of opportunity even in the next week because of the market. And there's a Fed meeting out on Wednesday, too. And all of this is volatility, and all the volatility is opportunity for you to trade to make money if you know what stocks to trade and if you know what direction to trade them. And if you don't, you're going to lose. And if you don't take advantage of the opportunity, then you're not going to be able to make money, period. Because you can't make money trading if you don't take any trades. You want to be successful, you got to be, able to be willing to take risk. Any questions from anyone at all? Quiet group tonight. All right, if you're interested in a trial to the room, email me at melissaatthestockswoosh.com. If you're interested in the class, email me. Here, I'll put the slide back up really quickly. Here's the information about the class. Email me if you're interested in the class this weekend. You have till Friday to sign up. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks for coming, okay? And email me if you have any questions.
You're welcome. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>